I'll switch hats, now I'm a teacher. Um, I have the wonderful privilege, and I call it a privilege, because I spent my life, I'm growing up, wanting to be an art teacher. I had a wonderful art teacher when I was in high school, not so much in elementary school, but I was a Catholic private school. Um, I get to see kindergarten through fifth grade. I get to watch them from the time they're little babies to the time they're ready to leave for middle school. I get to see them grow, but now I'm terrified. I'm terrified that I'm going to spend my time prepping them for testing. I'm terrified I'm not going to have the budget to teach them, and I'm going to rely on sending out notices home. Please give me markers. Please bring me buttons and different things like that that are recyclable so I can create my art that way, which I do do. However, a lot of what I do is consumable. Um, I am a product of a budget cut. I started in Charles County in December, three days after I graduated from college, three days after my 23rd birthday, at McDonough. Um, they needed a fourth art teacher. I was on a cart. I was in the science lab, the Helmet lab, all over. A year and a half later, Mrs. Petty, a lover, um, pulled me into her office and said, Ron, I'm very, very sorry, but the board of Petty will not give me any more funds to keep a fourth art teacher. And then my heart was broken. Luckily, I was hired at Bill Bailey by Karen Richardson um, and found my true calling in elementary art. Sorry to my high school friends, I will never go back. <laughs> um, but like I said, it's real. I have friends in Pennsylvania, I have friends in Ohio, I have friends in New York who all have lost their jobs because they're simply our teacher. Um, and I don't want to see that happen here. I'm terrified. 